Okay, now we're in part three of uh, talking about intake manifold modifications for the regular guy. And um, don't let me forget, I also want to talk about uh, carburetor selection. Uh, okay, now you can see that this is an EGR late model equipped uh, intake manifold. And what I was explaining last time is how we plug uh, the exhaust tube holes that send exhaust up under the carburetor and that's going to help you with power. The second stage modification is to block off the exhaust heat from the entire passage. Okay, Now they sell gaskets for this and for you guys um, running on the street all you have to do is change the gasket. Obviously gasket material alone blocking this passage is not going to you know, last long. They do sell them with stainless steel insert plates and uh, those are fine as long as they last, but here's something that's going to last a lot longer. Okay, what you can see is um, my partner is actually welded up and blocked, and I think he might have finished with JB weld. I'm not sure. Um, that entire exhaust gas recirculation and choke uh, heat passage that acts like a hot stove under your carburetor. Okay, so. This is what we call, at this point, an unheated intake, okay? And uh, again, cold is better. Uh, your volumetric efficiency is going to go up if you take the heat out of the intake manifold. Now, stage three, we're going to go over to my other bench because you can actually prevent the exhaust gas from coming in at all through another method, and that is to block it off in the cylinder head. Now, for you guys with sharp eyes, you recognize this as a Pontiac cylinder head, but the principle is the same. Okay. <clears throat> what the cylinder head porter did here was he poured molten aluminum into the exhaust passage. These exhaust passages get their exhaust from the two, or in the case of a small block Chevy, one of these center exhaust ports under the exhaust valve. Um, part of it goes out through the header or exhaust manifold and some of it goes up um, on, in the opposite direction, 100 degrees, into the intake manifold. Right? So he probably melted pistons, got himself some molten aluminum and poured it in there. And it can take several pounds. Right? Now the advantage of this over just blocking the intake manifold is that you can pour it all the way down into the exhaust port. Right? I don't know if you can see that there. And then port that so that all four of your exhaust ports are identical to each other. Right? That is, these end ones that don't have the, port, the extra port in it are the same now as these center ones. Right? So you're going to pick up more performance. And that's why they do that. And that's part of a stage three or stage four cylinder head modification. <coughs> okay. So you're going to get that.